Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, the Circumcellians. Again, we have a heretical group whose name is misleading. The Circumcellians had nothing to do with circumcision. I think probably the best way to think of the Circumcellians is that they were a bit like violent hippies. They were fans of commitment-free sex and abolishing all ownership and all debt. Because they didn't believe in possessions, they had a tendency to sort of hang around people, trying to make converts of them while eating their food. The name Circumcellians comes from the Latin phrase Circumcellus Juntus, or they go around the cells slash larders, and it carried about the same connotations as freeloader would today. So what about the part about violence? Well, the goal of the Circumcellians was to be martyred, but they didn't seem to understand the concept very well, and would go around hitting Roman soldiers with clubs, which they called Israelites, and shouting, praise God, in Latin, in the hopes of being killed by them. Understandably, as you or I wouldn't like being called a deadbeat, they didn't often call themselves Circumcellian, and instead prefer the name Agnostici, which means fighters for Christ. So, why didn't they use better weapons than clubs? Mainly, it was because of John 18.11, where Jesus tells Peter to put down his sword. Apparently, they forgot about Luke 22.36, where Jesus says people should sell their coat and buy a sword. Oh well. Anyway, I don't think much really needs to be said about the Circumcellions. There are still people who live kind of like they did, but mostly they aren't religious. However, just for the sake of completeness, let's look at just a couple of Bible verses that touch on these... issues. Strive not against a man without cause, when he hath done thee no evil. Proverbs 3.30 For also, when we were with you, this we declared to you, that if any man will not work, neither let him eat. 2 Thessalonians 3.10 We're not supposed to attack innocent people or leech off the hard work of others because of our refusal to own anything. As for martyrdom, if someone kills you for hitting them with a club for no reason, that's hardly a holy death for the faith. As St. Peter said, For what glory is it if committing sin and being buffeted for it, you endure? But if doing well you suffer patiently, this is thankworthy before God. 1 Peter 2.20 Martyrdom is only martyrdom if it's suffered while doing good things. Things which, unlike whacking people upside the head with a two-by-four, God has actually told us to do. Next time, what's Apollinarism? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.